Magandang buhay! May bago na naman tayong pag-uusapan dahil nalalapit na ang Marso at ito ay tungkol sa National Women's Month. So pag-uusapan natin ang ilang mga impormasyon kaugnay dito. So handa ka na ba? Tara na, simula na natin. Kapag March of every year is National Women's Month. Ito ay anchored sa tema natin ngayong taon na We Make Change Work for Women. This celebration aims to highlight the empowerment of women as active contributors to and claim holders of development. Kaugnay pa niyan, The pursuit of development is also anchored on the commitment of malasakit at pagbabago or pwede natin tawagin na true compassion and real change. Alam nyo rin ba na meron tayo mga legal mandates kaugnay ng National Women's Month? Isa sa mga legal mandates ay yung Proclamation No. 227, Series 1988, providing for the observance of the month of March as Women's Role in History Month. Ito ay pinaramhan ni President Aquino on March 17, 1988. It reinforced the earlier proclamation by emphasizing the role of Filipino women in the social, cultural, economic, and political development throughout our history. It also provided for a month-long nationwide observance with appropriate ceremonies and activities to be spearheaded by the Commission. Again, ito ay mula March 1 hanggang March 31. Sumunod naman ay yung tinatawag natin na Republic Act 6949 Series of 1990. Ito ay yung an act to declare March 8 of every year as a working special holiday to be known as National Women's Day. It was signed also by President Aquino on April 10, 1990. So, the law further threatened the impetus for the celebration by declaring every March 8 as a special working holiday and enjoining employees from the government and private sector to participate in activities conducted by their offices. Isa pa ay yung tinatawag natin na Proclamation No. 224 Series 1988. Ito naman ay yung declaring the first week of March of every year as Women's Week and March 8, 1988 and every year thereafter as Women's Rights and International Peace Day. Ito ay pinirmahan din ni former President Corazon C. Aquino on March 1, 1988. It affirmed our solidarity with the United Nations and recognized Filipino women's contribution in the struggle for national independence, civil liberties, equality, and human rights. Ngayong 2022, the National Women's Month celebration endeavors to highlight the gains achieved for women and girls assess the actions towards gender equality, and look forward to steps that must be taken to ensure progress in empowering women. With the country still reeling from the COVID-19 pandemic, studies in data show that the health crisis stalled movements towards gender equality, worsening inequalities, further exposing gender gaps, and exacerbating vulnerabilities in social and political and economic aspects. This Women's Month won us take center stage, standing up for the rights, challenging stereotypes, breaking barriers, and serving as pioneers of change. This year, in 2022, the nation recognizes women's valuable role in society and proves that inclusive and sustainable development is only possible when gender equality becomes obtainable. Ngayon, pag-usapan naman natin ang ilan sa mga suggested activities para sa atin na pwede natin gawin ngayong National Women's Month. Una ay yung banner of support. So, support the National Women's Month celebration by displaying the campaign banner na pwede natin ma-search online. Pwede rin tayong pumunta sa uh, PCW para i-check natin yung 
a banner na pwede natin ipaprint out. So, pwede natin siya ilagay in front of offices and pwede natin siyang i-upload dun sa ating official website and mga social media accounts. Aside sa banner of support, pwede rin natin gawin yung tinatawag na Hashtag purple choose this or hashtag purple your icon. So wear anything purple on all the Tuesdays of March to signify to signify rather support for women's empowerment and gender equality. So yung mga participants can also light up or decorate yung offices or landmarks in purple to spark interest and discourse on the celebration and what it stands for. Pwede rin tayong mag forum or yung mga agenda setting. So, yung mga government agencies and local government units or yung mga LGU can organize virtual or kaya hybrid activities where they can discuss gender issues that they can help resolve or minimize given their mandates and assess internal gender concerns that need attention. Pwede rin tayo gumawa ng mga online advocacy. So, make the advocacy take over the online realm by posting about it. Participants can also use the National Women's Month Celebration Advocacy Profile Photo and other online materials sa, sa, alimbawa, sa Instagram, uh, sa Facebook, sa My Day natin, o kaya sa IG Stories, yung mga My Day Frames and Viber Stickers. They can also showcase their activities online and join the online thread using hashtag Women Make Change. And pwede rin tayong gumawa ng hashtag God to know or gender and development yung ibig sabihin ng GAD or God. So yung agencies and LGUs natin, local government units, can produce and or distribute yung mga information materials, pwede siyang online or kaya print, featuring the list of their gender responsive programs and services. Uh, Siyempre, nag-benefit sa women as well as uh, sig- simplified steps and requirements to avail of such. So, yung mga agencies with major programs and services for the public in response to the COVID-19 pandemic are enjoyed to share the number of their women beneficiaries as they encourage more women to participate in their programs. So, participating agencies and stakeholders can also produce and distribute different materials on the National Women's Month celebration and laws on women. So, marami rin tayong pwedeng uh, makita pang ilan sa mga suggested activities natin. No? Punta lang tayo sa uh, PCW sa kanilang website no para makita natin. Iba pa natin mga pwedeng gawin para ngayon sa buwan ng mga kababaihan. So, I hope meron tayong natutunan kahit pa paano dito sa ating talakayan about sa National Women's Month. Lagi nating tatandaan, manatiling mabuting tao at maraming salamat. Paalam! Ah!